In this video, we'll do an example of a dilution calculation using the dilution formula. 500 ml of water is added to 250 ml of 0.625 molar NaOH solution. What is the final concentration of NaOH? Remember square brackets around a formula denote its molar concentration. The fact that we're adding water to a solution means that this is a dilution problem, so we can use the dilution formula C1V1 is equal to C2V2. The original solution, which we can call solution 1, is 250 ml of 0.625 molar NaOH. So C1, the initial concentration, is equal to 0.625 molar, and V1, the initial volume, is equal to 250 milliliters. In order to find V2, the final volume, we can use the equation V2 is equal to V1 plus the volume of water added. The initial volume of the solution V1 is 250 milliliters. So we write 250 in here for V1. The water added was 500 milliliters. So we put 500 milliliters in here for the water added. 250 plus 500 equals 750 milliliters. So the final volume V2 equals 750 milliliters. What we're asked to find in this problem is the final concentration of NaOH. The final concentration of NaOH is C2, which is our unknown in this case. Since C2 is our unknown, we rearrange the dilution formula to solve for C2. And we get C2 is equal to C1V1 over V2. We'll insert the given values in the equation here. Our initial concentration, C1, is 0.625 molar. So we write 0.625 molar in here for C1. Our initial volume, V1, is 250 milliliters. So we write 250 mils in here for V1. Our final volume, V2, is 750 milliliters. So we write 750 milliliters for V2 here. Now we can proceed to calculate the value of the final concentration, C2. We can cancel milliliters from the top and the bottom, and we're left with the unit molar. So we calculate our final answer by taking 0.625 times 250 divided by 750, which gives us a final answer of 0.208 molar. So we can finish by stating that the final concentration of NaOH in our solution is 0.208 molar. 